to maintaining and increasing tourist arrivals, airlift. Tonight on In the Spotlight, Minister of Tourism Richard Seeley speaks of success in government's efforts to ensure adequate airlift into Barbados from its source markets. The tourism minister says that the growth now being seen is the result of a deliberate strategy on the part of the Barbados government. I'm uh, you know, particularly encouraged to see the situation in Canada. Um, that was an area that this government targeted. We had just over 50,000 arrivals in 2007, and as recently as um, 2010, we are now into the um, 70,000. So we've, we've increased significantly in a very difficult period from Canada. And that does in fact have to do with the fact that we have increased um, airlift capacity from Canada, um, particularly bringing on another carrier, WestJet. But we've also been successful in getting increased airlift out of New York in the form of JetBlue. Um, American Airlines, who previously only came out of Miami and New York, are now also coming out of Dallas. So I think that where our major source markets are concerned, we have been quite successful. He also expressed satisfaction with current airlift out of the United Kingdom, although Minister Seeley noted that there had been challenges in that market. We took a blow when the largest charter operator, the Excel Leisure Group, went bankrupt. But we've been able to increase our services from both of the scheduled carriers out of that market. Virgin Atlantic has a daily flight uh, from Gatwick, London, and uh, they service us once a week on weekends from Manchester. So we have eight flights a week, and those are 747s from Virgin Atlantic. But we, we have 12 flights a week from British Airways, and, and therefore, uh, that's unprecedented. We've never had that level of uh, service from British Airways before. So in terms of the UK, our major source market, we have 20 flights per week, eight of those 20 being 747s. And uh, we're the only Caribbean destination that can claim to have that level of, of, of service from the United Kingdom. Officials are also placing emphasis on continental Europe in the hope that the popularity of the Barbados brand in the United Kingdom will expand to other countries in Europe, resulting in more business. We have actually been able to double the capacity from Frankfurt, Germany. Germany being the biggest player in the European Union is a, a, a significant market and one that we've been able to grow. But apart from that, we have brought on through TUI a charter that will be coming from uh, this winter season, that is winter season 2011-2012, um, uh, an operator out of uh, Stockholm, Sweden. And the flight actually has, has been selling extremely well. So I think our strategy of separating UK from Europe and, and focusing on them in, in a more deliberate way, having a, a vice president for UK and a vice president for Europe, that is working with the additional capacity from Germany, we are still talking to the Italian players and possibly bringing back that, that Milan charter, but we are now adding to that um, a charter out of Sweden. And we are also in an advanced stage of negotiating with a, a, a French player, and we should also have hopefully some direct airlift from, from France. So I would say the continental Europe is an area that we are focusing on because definitely that, that has tremendous potential. Our, our numbers you know, recently have been a little small from, from continental Europe. And when you think of how strong the brand is across the channel in the UK, there's no reason why we should not have more business from uh, Europe proper. And that is why we've been advancing that effort. Latin America is another area being targeted and already one airline, Gaul, out of Brazil, is flying into Barbados. And it's important to understand that while we focus heavily on Brazil because they are the big player in Latin America, the, the, that flight, Gaul, connects extremely well through Sao Paulo to, to many other large markets in Latin America. The, the, the next largest one, of course, would be Argentina through Buenos Aires. And, and we have been getting more Argentinians coming to Barbados, uh, connecting uh, through Sao Paulo on the Gulf flight. So we, we, we think there are possibilities for Latin America generally. Previously, when we spoke about Latin America, we were just talking about Venezuela. But now we, we have the very real prospect of getting 
business from Uruguay, from Chile, and from some of those, those, those other, other um, countries in South America. Efforts are continuing to attract other carriers out of the region. We have been talking to Copa out of Panama, and we would at some stage like to see a direct flight from Panama City to Barbados, and that will again open up the northern part of South America, as well as Central America, where Copa tends to be, to be extremely strong. It has good connections, again, through Panama City. So we, 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 we are definitely looking at Europe and Latin America. Minister Seeley says government has been seeing the benefits of creating a position for an aviation specialist within the Barbados Tourism Authority. I brought on that specialist, uh, you know, take when I took up this office because I felt that we, we needed to be very analytical in terms of how we go about acquiring airlift. Um, it, it is not a, a process that is free of charge. We are taking taxpayers' money and we're investing in, in, in establishing these air links and, and we need to be very careful and make sure we do the, the necessary analysis in order to get it. So I am satisfied that that is what is occurring. That specialist, aviation consultant with the BTA, Neville Boxhill, explained the process which was undertaken to attract new airlift to Barbados. There are two ways in which the process starts, either as a result of a policy decision that we wish to be more aggressive in a particular market as took place with South America or as a result of research which we conduct which indicates that Barbados is receiving a certain volume of, of passengers from a destination that may not be directly ser serviced right now but that the passengers are finding their way to Barbados via existing gateways. The new service from Dallas-Fort Worth in the United States which started in December last year, is a result of this type of research. When we looked at the performance of the U.S. in general, we have a, we have a high concentration of services out of the Northeast U.S. But despite the fact that we have such a high concentration, all of the carriers are drawing traffic, a certain level of traffic from the, from the Western U.S. via Miami, via New York, via Atlanta, via Charlotte. And in looking at the numbers, it indicated to us that a service out of the Western US could be successful, both in terms of the volume of traffic that already existed, but in terms of once we cut the flying time with a direct service, how we can grow the market in, in those areas with direct marketing, supporting a direct service. Once that process had been identified, then it was a matter of speaking to the airlines that had that capacity to do so. American Airlines was an obvious choice because they have, they're, he they're actually headquartered in Dallas-Fort Worth. They have quite a considerably large hub in Dallas, and it made perfect sense for us to put, um, to do a proposal to American Airlines in order to bring that service.